Good morning and happy day. <laughs> so we have made it to Harrison Bay State Park in Tennessee. It's our second day here actually. We had to move from one site to the other. Um, we'll show this place off. It's kind of fun. It's exciting and we will see you all over the park. Harrison's Bay State Park has all types of cool little adventures for you. They have some birds of prey right here. They put on a show later. There's a big old buzzard. Oh, look at this red tail hawk, JT. Hey, it's cool. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Very cool. Yeah, so they're supposed to put on a show later. Right now, we got something else we're going to do. All right. And one thing is really cool. This is extremely biker friendly place. There's all types of places to bike. It just took out one of its feathers. It pulled a feather out. <laughs> Seasonal ranger here at Harrison Bay. Um, and Harrison Bay State Park is in fact one of the first state parks. Um, and so uh, it was built here in, 19, in the 1930s. Um, and it was built while the area had no electricity. So it was built using all of these kind of older tools that we think of, you, you know, by 1937, you think there's plenty of, of access to those things. But in Tennessee, um, it was not always the case. You couldn't always run down to the local store and pick up the hardware tools you needed. It was definitely things that people made themselves. Um, and uh, a lot of times people uh, kind of try to think of, um, think of, 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 folks that know those trades as uneducated but they had to know the exact they had to know how to do uh how to calculate the circumference of a wheel just by moving a little little rotator around it so that they could do it perfectly your piece of wood that you're working with and you put your foot right here you clamp down on it and you stay clamped and then you'll use your tool and draw it towards you yeah. Cool, buddy. So you'll take pieces off of it, and you keep you. And the reason that this is used for like green woodworking and the kind of wood that makes like sculptures is because uh, sculpture-like kind of ideals is because it's easy to just readjust. Sure. Super easy to just. There you go. Nice, Whoa. you did it. <laughs> good job. I'm gonna take that from you, but good job, you did it. Hey. Come on, Mama, show us how to do it. <laughs> Show us how to do it. it. Make me a fork real quick. A fork? Yeah, let's see if you make a spoon or a fork. Oh, a fork. A spork. A spork. <laughs> but you know, it's really nice to just sort of kind of get to sit there and sculpt. I think Shaping we could live cheese. off grid now. We could live off grid for real. You know how it works. I'll <laughs> yeah. stay in the AC. You can stay out there and pull all that. <laughs> it is kind of satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Peeling. Good job. I'll come in from like May Good to job. September. Um, and All right, so we got to learn about a draw knife and a plow. That was awesome. Let's go to the next adventure. This place is full of deer. We just had one across in front of us. There's one right there in the woods. You probably can't see it. Man, it's full of deer. Sarge's been going crazy. All right, we left the interpretive center. We're headed down to the boat slip. And uh, part of the Tennessee River, the lake, I guess this is Harrison Lake, what you call it. Mama's in the front, JT's in the middle, Daddy's in the back. We're just cruising right along. Go JT, go! Very pretty place, reminds me of Joe Wheeler a lot. There's actually a restaurant down here, but they don't serve breakfast yet. <laughs> I wanted a nice big breakfast, but they don't serve it yet. It's okay. All right, we'll see you up here. Right here next to the restaurant, we've got all you can eat catfish on Friday nights. <laughs> cool stuff. <laughs> There's a four and a half mile bike loop here. Biking and running, it looks 
more like a double track. Yeah, that might be fast. Kind of gravelly. Pretty neat. Maybe go check it out. Kind of cool. So they have two rain barrels. Uh, I guess they are they put water in here or it fills up by the rain and then they hook up a water hose down here and they can water their plants. <laughs> All right, we'll come check out this trail. It's a little bit later on. A fishing pier and picnicking area. We're going to go by that right now. This is awesome. Picnic tables with little grills. This would be a great day use area. Yes, it is. Across from the restaurant and the marina. Dog park, all that flat area right there. And here is their designated fishing pier. This is cool. Yeah, they're out there fishing right now. Ooh. They got all types of parking spots. Look at this Class C. The whole front end is jacked up way off the... That's awesome. I'm kind of scared to do that in mine. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. All types of spots. I bet there's a hundred spots out here. Pull through. You can bring anything out here. It's pretty awesome. Looking up the camping areas into A, B, C, and D. Each one of them has their own bathhouse. It's pretty awesome. You got your own toilet and shower in its own room. There's ours. And there we go. There's the con. Take a little break for a minute. A little snack, get here to use the restroom and check it out. Tomorrow morning, pancake breakfast. Yeah, $5 a person. And tonight, all you can eat catfish. All right, let's go on another adventure and look at some bees. Gonna be kind of cool. the interpret center again let's go in here and see what's going on wildlife warning oh that's good wildlife warning. Whoa, touch the hello again we're back for some honeybees what's in here JT Ooh, gee, that's cool Skin. Yeah, I'll touch it. But honeybees work together to get things done. So that's why there's a lot of them living in a little hive like that. So they'll live in here, on, on here. Uh, and uh, when we first got them, the queen is actually comes in a separate box because she's the most important bee. All the other bees work to keep her safe and happy and fed. Um, and kind of like you. You're like our queen bee. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, is, yeah. it is so that you can put smoke on the bees to calm them down before you go and check that they're doing all right. Or take any of their honey because they don't like you taking their honey. Um, <laughs> Do y'all harvest the honey? We will. Um, we just, they are too recent to really have have enough honey for us to take some okay um but yeah once you get so you only start harvesting honey once you have three boxes on there and you only take from the third box on the top let them let them be wherever they are let the bee be yep and you can see the our the farther back hive is actually doing a lot better than this front hive there's um, a lot of them over there yeah yeah you can see the opening and how many more bees they have there. Um, they've also drank a lot more of the nectar. So this hive is doing fine. Um, it's thriving well, but just not, this one is beyond thriving. Um, why do you have to wait? Why can't you only get it from the third? End of our bee show, kind of neato. Had two thriving hives. You wouldn't let us get too close, but that's okay. Here's where they pollinate. All right, see you on the next adventure. Let's go. like that. Thank you. All right, JT, you ready to go do some swimming? Yeah. 
Let's go swimming. Yeah. Swimming! Woo! The hole is gonna be down here. Through these trees, there's an island out here at Harrison Point. This is pretty awesome, check it out. Really cool little mountain bike trail too. We'll come out here, see what's going on. Nice job, way to handle them roots. Oof. Come on, bud, let's go this way. Keep on going. Let them have that part. We'll come down here. But down out there is the island. See, so you cross right there. Boom, you're on an island. There's a trail all the way around it. We may go ride that in a bit. Come on, bud. Let's come out as a spot up here. It's not bad right here. Looks like a pretty good spot. Step off into there. A little bit of shade, a little bit of sunshine. This is gonna be our swimming hole. TT's getting ready. Let's get in here, check out this water. Ooh, the clay bottle, man, it feels good. You coming, buddy? All right, I'll see you out here when you get ready. Looks pretty clear, let's go check it out. Lay down and swim, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <nasty. laughs> Don't crap me. <laughs> Now it's time to go eat a little dinner. They got an all-you-can-eat catfish buffet. We'll see what that's all about. Y'all ready to eat? Yes. <laughs> all right, see you in the restaurant. So what we got? Some shrimps and yes, some salad. Anna? Not bad. Let's eat it up. Strawberries. Ooh, strawberries. All right, Dockside Cafe. That's a good place to go eat. Yes, it is. Let's get back on the bikes and let's go start a fire. Cook some s'mores. It's going to be good.
see you on the next adventure they are waiting headed now to watch a fire get started with how we ride through the this is the primitive camping area it's really nice might be might be nicer than the RV area pretty cool so we're gonna get a fire started and then we're going to uh, I think we're gonna make some s'mores we'll see what's all that about thanks for watching a little ping pong area they used to have a little pool area but it's not open looks like a frog pond right now good job coming down that hill <sighs> pretty cool area let's go explore a little bit more JT we got a few minutes park ranger <laughs> Hey, at the fire pit now. All right. <laughs> so we should have some more supplies soon. Ranger um, sand is All right, all right. Ranger. Yeah. He likes to take the bark good. off the of cedar trees. Yeah. Get a little fire starter with it. Nice. Yeah. Well, cedar is good for a lot of things, and it's especially good as a natural insect repellent. Do you see a spark? That, they, that the Choctaw used for bathing. When people touch this plant, they immediately die. The vine had its own spirit, however, and cared deeply for the people. It wanted to be around other humans, around the humans. So it called a council of the small spirit, the little creatures. Lastly was the rattlesnake, who agreed to take all of the poison that was left. And he would rattle his snake, his tail, to warn people before biting them. And thus poison was brought out from the bayous and into the world. Yay. <laughs> Good job. I don't know. Nine? All of them. All of them. <laughs> That's good. Stay, Stay on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side. Always, Always on the sunny side. side. Stay on, on the sunny side, side of life. You'll, You'll feel no pain, pain as we drive, drive you insane. insane. Stay, Stay on the sunny, sunny side of life. life. Anyone else have a joke? Uh, why did the t uh, bicycle fall over? Oh, I don't know. It was too tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay on the sunny side. Always on the sunny side. side. Stay, Stay on, on the sunny, sunny side of life. You'll, You'll feel, feel no pain, pain as we drive, drive you insane. insane. If you, you stay, stay on, on the sunny side, side of life. Do you know another joke? Um, yeah, it's all the It's your I turn. I can't think of any of It's too much pressure. Here you go. <laughs> you ready? Tennessee football. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Wow. Wait, where well, did you graduate from? <laughs> I graduated from the University of Tennessee in oh. Chattanooga. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, made him a s'more over the fire. Very good, very Look good. Look at my face. Did you say thank you for this? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, most yeah, important no, part of fire is safety. Here more go. you gotta worry about about ticks than mosquitoes here. Well, yeah, I have one calling on me. That's a safe fire right there. <laughs> Come on. Get ready to start the next adventure. Check this out. Here's my bumper. Pull this out. Time to go fishing. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. We will see you on the docks. <laughs> what to do, big boy? We're about to fish again. All right, so we have from supper this giant shrimp left over. You know shrimp, everybody likes shrimp. Surely we'll catch a big catfish with it. So let's throw it out there.
eating it. They're eating it. It is gone. They ate that thing all up. It must be pretty small. All right, JT. We caught our first fish. Come on, big boy. You caught it all by yourself. Good job. Good job. What do you think, big boy? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, we thought we had one. It pulled that cork way under, didn't it? Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Easy. Ooh, that's heavy. GoPro to the fishing line, caught a fish. We've been fishing all day. JT, what do you think? Cool. That was so cool. <laughs> all right, let's throw him back. What are you doing? Getting his mouth open. Let's see what his mouth looks like. Go back, throw him back in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him some hot dogs. You have been giving hot dogs. See you, buddy. Nice fish. <laughs> Right, so fishing was good we caught two monster brim they were at least about five ounces or so and uh anyways hope you enjoyed this if you do like subscribe we're about to head back to the house it's getting or to the rv our house on wheels it's getting dark and it's been a beautiful night it's been fun jt wait until everybody like and subscribe on the comment and i hope you like the time lapse that's right. We have a time lapse coming back this way toward us. So I hope y'all enjoy that. Y'all have a good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. All right, good morning. So we're gonna go do a little bike ride. We're gonna time warp this whole place and see what we can find. There's some Bay State Park, pretty. Let's go see it.
Well, wasn't that fun? So, hope you enjoyed that little ride. Thanks for watching. If you did, like, subscribe. We put out new videos every Friday.